everyone. The next story is a pretty cute one. And if you have a baby at home, maybe you will relate to it. It's called Auntie Zui's Baby. It's written and illustrated by Madhuri Purandare. Auntie Zui's Baby. Anu, wake up, sleepy head, called Anu's mother. Mm, let me sleep, mumbled Anu. Okay, then I'll go see Auntie Zui's baby by myself, said I. Anu sat up like a shot. Baby? Is it a teeny tiny baby? Like a doll? Wait for me, I'm coming. Anu got ready in a jiffy. She gulped down her milk without a fuss. She didn't even cry when her mother combed her hair. The moment Anu entered Auntie's house, she shouted, Auntie, where is the baby? Shh! said Auntie Zoe with her finger on her lips. Softly, the baby is sleeping. Sleeping? What a bore! And Anu began to sulk. I pulled Anu close. The baby is still very small, Anu. You must not trouble her. After all, you are her big sister. Big sister? Anu felt very important. But why did the baby have to go to sleep? Just then, they heard a thin wail. She's up, said auntie and gave the baby to I. I want to hold the baby, said Anu. Oh no, Anu, you won't be able to. You're much too small, said I. But I'm her big sister, said Anu. Why should the baby sit on I's lap? I want to sit on I's lap too, thought Anu. But I said, Anu, move away. You must not bother the baby. See how tiny she is. The baby was still wailing. Mwah. Oh dear, said auntie. I think she soiled her nappy. She cleaned the baby and changed her nappy. The baby gurgled happily. Anu was disgusted. What a silly baby. Potty in the nappy? And I and auntie were mad. They didn't even school the baby. If I just pee in my underwear by mistake, I glares at me, but now look at her doing kuchi ku to the baby. Wait till I get home. I'll tell Baba how unfair I is. Let's go home, I. Anu cried. Why, Anu? Don't you like the baby? asked Auntie. She said Anu. Silly baby. Does potty in the nappy. Doesn't talk. Doesn't play. I don't like your baby. Why did you get yourself such a silly baby? On the way back home, Anu asked her mother, I, when will I become a baby? You won't become a baby again, said I. You'll grow bigger now. I don't want to be big. I want to be a baby. And I want to sleep in your lap. And I want to drink milk with a spoon. And I want to sit on Baba's shoulders to go out. And Anu muttered all the way back home. The next day, I said, Anu, let's give your small clothes and toy and cradle to Auntie Zui's baby, shall we? No, yelled Anu. That's my ball and my cradle. Okay, what about giving away these clothes then? They're so small, said I. No, shouted Anu again. I want to wear them now. So I put on the small frock on Anu and she even put the little baby bonnet on her head. Anu crawled over all the house. She balanced the ball on her head then wandered around calling, Curd! Fresh curd! She played with the rattle, tat tat tat, and she climbed into the cradle. She wanted to lie down and suck her thumb, but she didn't fit. Her feet stuck out at one end and she couldn't keep her arms straight. The tight little frog had began to pinch. Anu was fed up. This was no fun at all. Anu said to her mother, I, why don't we just give this frock and bonnet and cradle to Auntie Zui's baby? Give it all away? But then what will you do? asked I. I, I'm a big sister now, aren't I? Once you become a big sister, you wear proper clothes and you sleep on the bed. Oh really? I had no idea, said I, smiling. Anu wore her own clothes and said, I, Tell baby that her big sister has given her all this. You'll tell her, won't you? Anu jumped on her scooter and went off to play. I thought that story was quite funny about how Anu 
really wanted to be a baby because she thought the babies have a good life. But it wasn't so fun after all, was it? If you like this story and you want to hear more stories from us, then like this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye. Thank you.